How's it going you guys? New Age here with another showdown a ladder in the session over on the Gen 7 showdowns. Looking nice and powerful. Um I'm digging it. I'm getting used to these games, these battles. I'm enjoying it. Can't wait to start using more stuff. I can't wait until they have lower tiers so I can try other things better and not against all these crazinesses. But uh today we're up in the Gen 7, we're up in Pokebank OU just because I found this team and there's some stuff that I really want to use on it. Uh, but let's go through the team. First off, we got the new weather abuser, Wingo, Drizzle, Pelipper with the Damp Rock, not bad. This one's especially defensive, which is weird, but whatever, it's chill. We got a defensive Rocky Helmet, Stealth Rock, Garchomp, the usual set, all that good stuff. We got uh, fully Spadef Mega Scizor, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, with Defog, not bad. And then to abuse the rain, we've got Kingdra. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Um, I would say that I'm gonna put Tapu Koko and maybe Buzzwall up on this thumbnail, but it's, Kingdra's gotta be on there somewhere, so it's, it's gonna happen. Um, Choice Specs, Modest, Swift Swim, Stab Hydro Pump in the rain boosted. Oh my gosh, it's so powerful. Literally like destroys everything. I love it. Then we got Life Orb Tapu Koko with Thunder, which in the rain will not miss and will be boosted by Electric Surge and Life Orb. Oh my gosh, so much damage. Uh, everything's dying. I love it. And then last we got a Choice Banded Buzz Wall. This man is too buff to not be Choice Banded. All these moves gonna hit crazy hard. Then we got the beast boost to raise our attack when we get a kill. It's nonsense. It's ridiculous. Let's get a game with it. All right, we got a trick room team. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't really think I have a way of stopping trick room, unless I lead with Buzzwall. He wants to start the timer on me. Let's go then. You are not living this. I think, unless you're sashed. Yeah, get out of here. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Resisted, I think. Nah, that did so much. Woo, damn. Um, that being said, hmm. I mean, we do have a Spadef Scissor. True, true. I'm just gonna go hard into that. It's gonna get up the trick room. We get to U-turn, so that's nice. Mega Evolve U-turn. I say catch it. This whole team is actually fairly weak to U-turn. Other than like Tapu Coco and stuff, but he decides to go out into Rampardos. Okay. Oh my gosh, why'd that do so much? That's crazy. Um Now, because of the trick room, I really don't have a switch into this. I guess Garchomp is the answer. Garchomp is the key. Um, and we're just gonna go for Earthquake, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you can use your Earthquake, but <laughs> your boy is dead. Your boy is dead. I really don't think this team is beating me. Honestly. It's too weak to like, what I'm working with, you know? Okay, yeah, and he forfeits. Good. Let's get that game out of the way. Let's get another one. People like to forfeit a lot, starting out with all this nonsense. Uh, anyways, anyways, we got a sun team? What is this? A sunny day guy? Is this a sun team? I can't tell. And a mega metacham? What I do see is Kingdra destroying this man. Once we get rid of Lapras, I guess. I guess that's something we have to do first. Um... <laughs> I'm just so tempted to lead Buzzwool, but we have a Garchomp against this Turtonator, so I'd rather lead with that. Um, I don't know how he gets rid of rocks, unless it's Turtonator. That's a hilarious name. Turtonator. <laughs> what do you learn? Um... You don't learn rapid spin or rocks, so I'm assuming you're going for a sunny day, but I'm gonna get up my rocks here. Um, bulk up, hello? 
I'm gonna dragon tail you. See if he bulks up again. Being like, I could take this earthquake. Fire blast. Bruh. Get out of here. And then enjoy that damage you take when you come back in. Oh, what's up, Lapras? Um. Pretty sure I got a scissor for you. That can you turn into. Hey. Okay. Well, this man just froze us. What is happening with my chat? Hello? Okay. Ignore this, like, random black bar that's there. Um, I mean, he can't really hit me with anything else. Oh, okay, it's gone. Um, unless he wants to scald and then burn me. Yo, if you want to sit here and zen headbutt, like, I'm chill with that. Hey, we thawing. Damn, that did a lot. Alright, so now we can go into Pelibur, I guess. Yeah. Grant, I don't want to take that freeze dry. I don't know why this thing has then had a drill run. What the hell kind of Lapras is this? I'm genuinely concerned. Um, and I am going to go hard into Scizor again. Just to U-turn. I don't want to get off the slow U-turn against Lapras because... Okay, any forfeits. Because I didn't want it to have freeze dry, and I wanted to still have my brain for later, but this dude was gonna get wrecked anyways. Let's get another game. Why are we just plowing through the competition? We got a uh, Talonflame that's not good anymore, and what looks to be Stall. Oh yeah, Stall with Spadef Talonflame. That's a thing. I know it's a thing. Um, I think I just want to lead Bellabur. Talonflame? You're gonna lead Talonflame? Okay. Well, I'm gonna U-turn to get rid of your priority, and then uh, kill you with Kingdra, maybe. <laughs> or Dapu Coco. Whichever. Whichever. Um, actually, if he's leftovers, then <laughs> he does have priority. But, uh... I feel like Kingdra is a good answer here. Um... No, let's go Tapu Coco for now. He's got to be leftovers, right? Oh, he's not leftovers, so he doesn't have priority, which means we are faster. So catch this thunder in the rain. And if he switches, I'm going to work my way back out into Garchomp, get off that uh, Stealth Rocks. Oh my gosh, I did a lot. <laughs> and he got paralyzed. Whoa! Loving it. Loving it. I know I could go into Buzzwall and just destroy this man, but we're going to get up our rocks. Damn, I kind of did a lot. Hey, catch this damage though. And these rocks. Ah! <laughs> Why are you letting your Ferrothorn die? I'm just gonna earthquake. Get out of here. Hey! Alright. Well, who's next? Toxapex. Okay. Toxapex? Okay, I mean, that doesn't affect Earthquake, but, you know. You do you! Okay! He's gonna go into Town Flame, catch all this damage, and, uh, I'm just gonna Dragon Tail. If he wants to Roost, then it's the same thing that's gonna happen, and if he wants to Will-O-Wisp, then next time he comes in, he's dead. Uh, he does have Defog, obviously. Um, and I think I'm just gonna Dragon Tail this thing, too. Does it take it out? Oh, he's fairy. Oh my gosh, I made a horrible mistake. Busted! Alright, well, we're still just gonna Earthquake. I mean, I guess he has, uh... Shadow Sneak? As a thing? I'm not really... And he lets himself take all that damage. Um... Why is this thing so fast? Pretty sure I can just go... Like, Scizor and Bullet Punch, right? That's a thing I could do. I'm not defensive, unfortunately, but we're still going for it. Oh my gosh, that did a lot. Oh, he's life orb. All right, well, now he's dead too. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I need to calm down. All right, I guess send out Talonflame to die. I mean, not that like you could have had Defog on Mew or something, but you know, we won't talk about that. Uh, does this dude have Thunder Wave? What's he gonna go for here? 
I'm gonna roost for now. I mean, Scizor doesn't do much anyways after this, so and he forfeits. He did not like that roost. Yo, this these people are getting blown back. Let's get another game. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's your boy Monotype. I feel like we're disrespecting this team by uh <laughs> <laughs> by um, making it go up against all this lower tier stuff. I'm gonna lead with Garchomp to get up my rocks to break sturdy. Um, I know he could have magic coat or whatever on his uh, Bastiodon, but Bastiodon's not gonna beat me 1v1 without not going for magic coat anyways. So I'm going to get up my rocks and then oh oh okay i was gonna say and then proceed to sweep with uh okay well and then proceed to sweep wow dragon tail did so much with uh kingdra and he forfeits what why what what i don't understand i mean you rock polish in front of a pokemon that commonly runs dragon tail why did you not expect that Alright, let's get another one. I think this is the most games I've ever played in this short span of time. Um, you get 6 would by Kingdra. Well, maybe not Toxapex, but everything else whew, gets destroyed. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright, let's see. Um, kind of want to lead Pelper this time around. A little bit. I also want to get up rocks. I don't know why this is Def Pelipper. I don't feel like it should be. I don't want it to be anyways. I have Spadef Scizor. I don't need Spadef Pelipper. There, you can have 8 Spadef if you really want it. Alright, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just worried about, I'm just gonna lead with this. Oh, dang, get predicted. Am I fast? I'm probably not faster. Whoa! Hmm. I'm gonna go Pelipper first. Because Kingdra will punch a huge hole in this dude's team before I go down, if anything. And I'm going for U turn. I doubt he's choice locked with Flamethrower, but I also didn't see an item on him, so. Alright, well, this man is choice locked. Um, we're gonna U-turn, and... I don't wanna let Kingdra get paralyzed. Ooh, we have Taipu Koko, who is faster. Oh my gosh. And resists all the moves that Thunderous wants to go for. I do see a ground type, but you know what? That's not stopping me from going for Thunder. <laughs> that is not stopping me. I will click this Thunder. I'm a madman. Ah, what? Why Toxapex? Get out of here. Why would you go Toxapex? Like, Thunderous does not take this Thunder well. Tapu Lele. Hmm. Alright, how much does Tapu Coco do to Tapu Lele? Let's see. Tapu Coco. Nah, we got Thunder Boy. Tapu Lele, Life Orb, sure, Timid. Thunder. Um, we're in the Psychic Terrain though. Oh my gosh, why does Psychic blow me back? Oh, boogie the blowing back. Uh, let's go on to Scizor, I guess. I don't think we'll take Psychic well. Oh, he's coming. Okay, well, we have a U-turn for you. We are specially defensive. We should live any hit. Especially if it if he has HP fire as well. Like, we're in the rain. We're spadef. We're good. We're chilling. We good to go. What? Why are you making these switches? <laughs> Why are you switching into things that are weak to the moves that I'm going for? Like, clearly. You're like... Like, what was... I don't... I don't get it. I just don't get it. I really don't. But you know what? That's that's okay. If you want to give us this game, we'll take it. Let's get another one. Oh, I see you back there, little minior. 
This like non gen 17 with that little guy back there. Wait, all these are level 50? No. Half of his are level 50. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about either of these. Uh, let's hurry up and get the game started before I realize they're at level 50. Ah! <laughs> That's too funny. Um, I don't care if this gets burnt. I really don't. Um, I, I need to sweep something with Kingdra. And this is where it happens. Um, let's see. I'm gonna Dragon Tail. Okay, as he goes for Hydro Pump. I was thinking he might try and predict and go for Volt Switch, but no, nah, that's okay. And now he's got his level 50 Aegislash out here. So we're gonna go into Pelipper, set up the rain, U turn, and then sweep his whole team with Kegdra. Alright, alright, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, this thing's at level 50. We're at level 100 last time I checked. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, you can get swept. He's like, why did I only do 10%? <laughs> this is too funny. Please don't figure it out. I want to sweep your whole team with Kingdra. Even if they weren't at level 50, I'd sweep your whole team with Kingdra. No, don't figure it out. He's like, I don't understand this damage. No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, Kingdra, why? It's so close. Let's get another one. I'm setting a world record. Most games played in like 20 minutes. What is this? Is this a pass team? I don't like this Smeargle. Um, I also kind of have nothing for Smeargle. Ew. I guess I'll lead with Garchomp. He's gonna leave with Darmanton. Okay. I mean, you do you. You do you. Okay. If we can get up these rocks, we break a sash on Smeargle. Oh my gosh, he's belly drum, but we're faster. So. At least that's what I just saw. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> belly drum protect citrus berry. New meta. All right, well, that's dead. What are these people doing? These people are weird. This guy. The brain juice. Brain juice is weird. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go out into Guzzlord. Uh, I mean... Why do I feel like I could sweep his team with Hydro Pump too? I haven't gotten to use anything. Let's go into Pelver. <coughs> I just want to see what it's going to do. I have no idea, honestly. It's going to Dragon Tail me as we get up the rain. So we're going to go Scizor Mega Evolve and U turn. Catch this damage. Ah! Alright, let's see. Is he going to Dragon Tail me again? I'm going to go into Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko. The counter hammer arm. That wasn't even good against Scizor. Hello? And I don't really see a switch for Dazzling Gleam, so. Or resist, anyways. That's a Dazzling Gleam! Whew! Damage! <laughs> Not really. That was bad. Um, how much does Thunder do? You know what? Thunder 2 hit KOs. Yeah. We're a champ. The brain juice, do I remember you? Hello? Uh, maybe I remember you as being a crazy guy. Yo, this di what? <laughs> Alright, first off, this dude mentronomed and got Sunsteel Strike. Super effective, not even bad. Second, he says, oh, you remember me, and then leaves. What's up with that? Come on, guy. Come on. I thought we was cool. I thought you remembered me. He has 40 seconds. Oh. What? Oh, Jack Curtis. I do remember you. Nah. Not right now. Just recording. 
Ho 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 ho. Well, it looks like your boy is leaving. Brain juice. <laughs> All right, well, let's get another game. Oh, rain versus rain. What does he have two rain setters? And make blastoise. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait. Um, he does have rapid spinner. Let's see. I mean, he's got to get up his rain at some point too. So, kind of just want to lead with Tapu Koko, honestly. <laughs> Let's do it. Polytone, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Give me that rain. Now show me your switch to Thunder. <laughs> I have the one thing he doesn't have. An electric perker man! Oh my gosh, it got one shot. <laughs> Alright, show me your switch. I'm faster than this, aren't I? Than tornadoes? I am. Oh my gosh. When you're faster than tornadoes. Unless you scarf Keldeo. Actually, Swift Swim, Kabutops. I'll probably be faster. Kabutops is not a rain sweeper. Kingdra is a rain sweeper. If you have to choose a physical rain sweeper, get Mega Swampert. Oh, he's going Keldeo. Is he Scarf? I'm gonna go Pelibur to scout. He's gonna scout. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's Life Orb. Good to know. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna U-turn. If he wants to switch, fine. If he knocks me out, that's also fine because he has a Pelibur as well. So, and he goes for Icy Wind, which doesn't even knock me out. I don't know why he didn't just go for Scald again if he saw it was a 2 hit KO. Um, that being said, let's, uh, I know Kingdra's Hydro Pump does like a crazy amount. I could possibly even one shot it from here, but you know, let's go Tapu Koko. I want to put Kingdra on the thumbnail, but you know. Maybe this is the Tapu Koko team. I want Buzzwall to put in the work, but I mean, damn. This man gets 6-0 by Tapu Koko. Ooh! Damage. He does have Kabutops to go into, but he chooses to go Blastoise. We're just gonna Thunder again. Let's see. Oh my gosh, not tanked. Hashtag not tanked. Why didn't he Mega Evolve? Was he not Mega Blastoise? <laughs> I'd, I'd understand if this dude forfeited. I am faster than you. <laughs> GG. Welcome to Gen 7. Ah! <laughs> ah. That was very satisfying. 24 minutes? Where am I at on the ladder? Let's get another game. <laughs> Um, ooh, a Kyrim. Yeah, this dude gets destroyed by Tapu Koko. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Is he gonna lead Skarmory? Kind of want to lead, like, hmm. <laughs> I think, yeah, I want to lead Pelber against Skarmory. Lead Pelber against Skarmory, you turn, see what kind of Skarmory he is. If he's leftovers or what, as he does not give me that opportunity, but we're going to dip. And, uh, <laughs> so tempted to just click Draco Meteor. Um, there's no way Tapu Koko knocks it out with Dazzling Gleam. I could go Buzzwall and fire off his superpower. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. There's there's just so many. Uh, this is, this is too hard. I don't want to let Tapu Koko just go down like that either. Um. Maybe I'll go Scizor and U-turn again. Yeah, I kind of want to scout just to see what kind of Kyrim he is. Um, and this will keep up the momentum too. So, 
as he's going to go Skarmory. And once again, we can do the same thing we wanted to do the turn, the first turn. Find out what kind of Skarmory he is. Um, I guess I'll go Tapu Koko. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's Leftovers if he's not Rocky Helmet. Otherwise, he's Shed Shell or Custap. As he has Leftovers, so that's fine. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm going for Thunder. I mean, you can go into Gliscor all you want. Yeah, I guess Gliscor is a decent switch. Um, I do have Pelipper though. <coughs> With the Rain Boosted Scald and can burn. As he's going to knock off. No! I'm going for Scald. I mean, like, Gliscor was the easiest switch ever, obviously. And I could have just gone for Dazzling Gleam. But I wanted to see what kind of man he was. As uh, resisted does 20%. This thing is definitely offensive. I'm going into Scissor. Still got three turns left to rain. We chilling. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to bring in Kingdra. And go to town. Oh my gosh, he crit me. And he's life war. We're going to boil punch here. Should I? Um. Yeah, I'm going to boil punch. Actually, I should roost. Nah. Not gonna expect him to predict that, especially because he lets me roost here. I mean, I guess Brave Bird could knock me out because I'm not defensive. Yeah, well, no, I was faster. Okay. I mean, if you just wanna let me get all my HP back, I'm chill with that. So we're gonna roost one more time as he's gonna Whirlwind. Okay, well, we're gonna get up our rocks. Because you got Kyrims and whatnots coming in all over the place. So we'll get up our stuff and I think we'll go for the Fire Blast here. <coughs> Do decent damage, take him out of sturdy range so Tapu Koko can revenge kill him. And we'll go from there. Hey, super effective. All right. Well, I'm clicking Thunder again. You can go into glass score if you want. That's just fine. And now we're gonna go Pelibur. Actually, mmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go Pelibur and U-turn. He already knocked off our item anyways, and we're not affected by Spike, so basically a free switch. Especially if he wants the earthquake. Um And then we could U-turn on out of there. As he's gonna double into Tapu Coco. Oh my Gosh. Um. Is this it? Is is this the time? I'd rather sack something than get rid of Pelibur. But I think this is the time. Um, I do want to go Garchomp in case he does go for the electric move. But if he predicts me, that's fine because I am trying to sack this. Um, but him going for the electric move does give me a chance to just go for Earthquake. I mean, he could easily switch out and avoid it, but because Dazzling Gleam, I'm going to go for Earthquake in case Dazzling Gleam does knock me out, but if he wants to go Gliscor, I'm just going to Dragon Tail. I I don't want a Dragon Tail right now. As he goes Skarmory. That works. Alright, well, now we're going to Dragon Tail. We are one point faster, which is kind of cool. So if he wants to uh, try and Whirlwind, then we're going to get him first. Hey, later. And there's the Tapu Finny. What's good? Still got the rain up. Um, 263. This thing is faster than us. Kind of want to get rid of these hazards, but I don't want to switch into a uh, move like that. I'll go into Scissor later, I guess. Um, hmm. Because I don't outspeed him, and he can go for a water move. I don't really have a switch for this thing. I'm just going to Earthquake. Hey, we were faster, not bad. Uh, he's going to Scald, and that doesn't knock us out, and it doesn't get the burn. Not bad. <coughs> oh, wait, it can't get the burn because of the Misty Terrain. Right. Uh, we're just going to weaken this thing. Especially because it's water. I'm pretty sure, like, one more Earthquake will uh, put him in range of Hydro Pump for sure. All 
All right. Um, I'm pretty sure I just sweep him with Kingdra at this point. I'm like very, very sure. I'm going for U-turn and going out into Kingdra, especially because he's not choice scarfed in either of these. Aerodactyl is probably his Mega. I don't know why he has a random Mega Aerodactyl. Um, but everything else is definitely in range. So all we have to do is hit six Hydro Pumps and we win. It is GG. It's a wrap. We got this in the bag. Yo, who wants to see a Kingdra sweep? Because it's about to happen right now. Okay. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, yes, protect. No, don't stall out all my turns of rain. You don't, you don't have a switch. It's impossible. There's no way you live this. Oh my gosh, you lived it. That is genuinely, genuinely upsetting. <sighs> All right, well, let's go into Buzzwall and get our attack. Um, Leech Life? No, that's not the move. Actually, why did I go into this? He has like so many switches for this thing. I'm just gonna superpower. That'll knock him out. Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't have gone into Buzzwall. That did like nothing for me. All that does is make me have to switch. I mean, I guess it brings in your Aerodactyl. I'm gonna go into Scizor. Oh, that was sad. That was quite sad. Okay. Nah, bro. We're getting rid of these hazards now. Deuces. Um, and we are going to U-turn. Go into Tapu Koko and go for Dazzling Gleam, because this man is just like, oh, I could just switch into Dazzling Gleam whenever I want, but really it's a thunder, but nah. Nah. Whirlwind, why are you gonna whirlwind me with no hazards? Hello? I'm gonna roost. <clears throat> Get some HPs back. He can roost if he wants to, I guess. We getting this rain up. Yep, he's gonna roost too. Um, I'm just gonna scald. I can burn and it's rain boosted. So clean, not bad. Ooh, let's see it. Damage. Um I hope I don't lose to Tapu Coco at this point. Yo, let's get that burn, Pelover. Oh Honestly I feel like I don't even need rain anymore at this point. Like, what does it do? I'm just gonna Scald. He can go for Bolt Strike. Okay, yo. All right, well, we had a chance to burn, but Pelipper's like, nah, we don't need that burn. <laughs> Burn's not useful. Ah! All right, and now we do outspeed him with Tapu Koko, and he doesn't have a switch. Like, Skarmory is not an answer, so. I don't know if we one-shot it from this point, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. See how much damage we could do. What? Why is Gly Glyscore not a switch, bro? I mean, I guess, to an extent, it is. Hmm. I think we lose to his Tapu Koko. I mean, he can go for Earthquake here. Yeah, I have to go for Dazzling Gleam to weaken him, but I still don't think he is in range. He goes for Swords Dance. Okay, hold up. If you want to put yourself in range, boy. I mean, if he has Roost, then that's bad. Yeah, if he has Roost. Uh, where's the crit? Huh. Okay, yeah, it's GG. Um, just making sure. Yep, GG. Our first loss, what? Let's get one more. All right, this will be the last game. Um, this is a weird team. Maybe, I don't know. So this, this will be the last game. We got like a million in this life, so not even bad. Um, Let's see. Yeah, why does he have all these like horrible lead Pokemon? I'm just gonna lead Garchomp. Um, I am going to go for Stealth Rock. If he wants to switch an Espeon, fine. But otherwise, we get up these rocks. 
and we are chilling. Um, and I'm gonna Dragon Tail. All right, well, see you later. What kind of set are you? Uh, leftovers or uh, a shed shell? As we can earthquake you, and I think I'll do that. I mean, he can go Skarmory again. That's fine, but. I mean, we do have Fire Blast, which I'm pretty sure you'll take well, unless you're physically defensive. I don't, last time I used Fire Blast, it did like 30%. Oh, okay, so that one's physically defensive. That one did a lot more. Um, I don't know if I should Earthquake. I'm gonna Dragon Tail. Okay, yeah. Because Earthquake, um, I would have been faster than him for one. And then Dragon Tail worked if he went for Roost or if he went out into Chandelure to try and get the boost. So that was kind of like my best option in both ways. Um, I'm just going to Earthquake here. So he's going to Bug Buzz and we get that thing out of the way. Not bad. So, I mean, it's just a lead guard chomp, so I don't mind letting it go down. Um, and last Fire Blast did 55, so... Yep, okay. So if he wants to take those rolls like that. This dude's team is getting wrecked by a lead Garchomp. Which, he has so many lead Pokemon, I'm assuming that that Garchomp that he has is not one of them. Um, but that being said, I'm going to Dragon Tail in case he tries to set up on me. Knowing, I don't know if he could live a hit or something. As he's going to Meteor Mash and take all of his damage, not bad. Um... And I think here, I do want to get rid of the hazards, but I'm not going to yet. Especially because his team is fairly slow, and Kingdra with the uh, rain boost should be able to outspeed. So I think I just want to go Pellet Burr. And he doesn't really have a switch for the rain either. Um, but I am just going to U-turn. As he's going to Zen Headbutt. Okay. And we're going to go out into Kingdra. And do what we should have done in the last game. I'm assuming we outspeed everything. Um, maybe not a Mega Evolved Metagross, but you know. Okay, and we miss. Okay. Is he Mega Garchomp? Okay, and we miss twice. Kingdra, what have you done? What have you just done to yourself? That was horrible. You could have one-shot this thing easy. That actually upsets me. Alright, well, I don't see a switch in Earthquake, so... Let's Earthquake, I guess. Alright, sweet. And now we get a nice little attack boost. Um, Maybe Chandelure can come in and knock me out? I don't know. Actually, we're in the rain, so I guess we shouldn't die. And Buzzwool, from what I hear, has good defense. Not good special defense. Oh my gosh. So he's going to go into Espeon. I'm just going to go Scizor. And U-turn. Um. <laughs> okay. And I can defog now, because the only reason I, wanted, I wasn't defogging was to break a potential Sash on Espeon. So... I am going to get rid of these hazards and oh oh that's right I was like wait what have I done and I'm going to roost and dip let's hit up that u-turn I don't know why he's staying in the psychic like u-turn knocks him out anyways uh, so yeah we definitely had that game um, well probably I mean Chandelure if anything, Pelipper could have beat Chandelure, especially with the rain. But I think Tapu Koko would have been able to anyways with Thunder. Uh, I would have outsped it. I actually want to see, just to know. Tapu Koko against Chandelure. With Thunder. Oh yeah, Thunder damn blows this thing back. Like, easily one shot. So yeah, other than that he would just had Garchomp, which I don't think could have beaten like Buzzwold, Tepicoco, and Pelipper all together. So anyways, 
not bad. The team put in work. And it was a lot of fun. Yo, using these like <laughs> crazy hyper offense in like the lower ladder has been a lot of fun. Everyone just dies. We got like a million games this life. I loved it. Uh, so anyways guys, that's going to be the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, comment down below, all that good stuff. And until then, I'm New HTO. Keep on watching. See you guys in the next video. Later!